Well, it seems like it has already been a long winter, but we're only about halfway through. The famous groundhog saw a shadow, which means we still have six more weeks of winter weather. So far, this winter season has brought a dozen storms powerful enough to earn a name. And for a storm to be powerful enough to earn a name, it is big enough to impact 400,000 square miles or 2 million people. However, if a winter storm doesn't have a name, that doesn't mean it can't cause destruction. In December, 16 vehicles collided in the fog on the interstate near Columbus, Georgia. In January, 75 vehicles collided on the New York State Thruway near Buffalo. The highway was snow packed and visibility was reduced because of locally heavy lake effect snow. And in February, 70 vehicles collided on I-35 near Ames, Iowa. Winter driving brings a unique set of challenges and you can encounter slick roads almost anywhere in the United States. Whether it's snow on California's grapevine section of Interstate 5 or freezing rain in Texas and Louisiana. Always remember to monitor the outdoor temperature and watch for trouble signs, such as vehicles in the ditch and ice buildup on your mirrors. Bridges, overpasses, and elevated roadways freeze first. And daytime snow melt can refreeze when the sun goes down and temperatures drop overnight. Every safe trip begins with a good pre-trip inspection. Make sure all of your lights are working, your mirrors are clear, your windshield is clean, your wipers are in good condition, and there is plenty of washer fluid. The batteries need to be healthy, the cooling system needs to be in good shape, and your fuel needs to be treated. And we all know there are a lot more things to check before you hit the road. It is important to dress for success in the winter. Always have a good coat, gloves, a hat, and boots that will provide good traction and will keep your feet warm and dry. You need a snow brush and an ice scraper to clear your windows. And don't forget to pay attention to snow and ice on top of your tractor and trailer. Snow and ice flying off the top of a tractor trailer can cause serious problems. If you need to have snow and ice removed from your trailer, contact your fleet manager or road breakdown immediately. When it's time to roll, make sure you've properly planned your trip, meaning you have checked the road conditions along your route and at your destination. Make smart decisions about the weather and allow the plows time to clear the roads. Don't crowd the plows or travel beside a plow too closely. It can be dangerous to pass a plow because snow plows can throw up a cloud of snow, which can reduce your visibility to zero in less time than you can react. When it comes to winter driving, remember these five tips. Wear your seatbelt. Wearing a seatbelt is still the single most effective thing all drivers can do to save lives and reduce injuries on our roadways. Watch your speed. When it's snowing, raining, or the roads are slick, reduce your speed so you can remain in control. Keep a safe following distance. It's harder to stop your truck on a slick surface, so increase your following distance enough so that you have plenty of time to stop. Inspect your equipment. No one wants to have a breakdown in any season, but especially not in cold or snowy winter weather. Remember what is important to you. There's someone at home counting on you, counting on you to drive safe, counting on you to come back home. So drive like it matters, because it does. Thank you for all you do to keep America moving. Stay safe in all of your travels.